What's up? What's happening? What it do? And what's popping? I am your boy DJ Swanger, aka Two Spoon Swaggo, and welcome to the Two Spoons Tuesday, where we spread love, speak positive, send hand gratitude to all our fans, supporters, players, UFL owners, UFL coaches, and this beautiful game we we all love to watch and play. Man, I got a special guest on my first episode of Two Spoons Tuesday. Fan favorite, um, XFL's offensive, reigning offensive MVP, by the repeat, two time MVP. Um, my main man, Joy Tamu. What's good? Yes, bro? sir. What's good, DJ? Thanks for having me on here, man. Excited to be here. I know it, bro. You know it. I, I, yes, I appreciate you for coming on, bro. This is going to be a nice little, little deal for us, man, and our league, bro. We're going to chop it up each and every week, and we're going to, uh, Fred Light on our teammates and um UFL. Yep. So let's get right into it, man. First question. Let's man, get it. From man, how was it growing up? What's up, man? I'm from uh from originally from Hawaii, Oahu, a uh, small island. You know, like ten minutes from the beach. Um, first time ever leaving the island was uh to go to you know what a first time leaving the island was to go to the mainland for college. But uh, born and raised there. Um, you know, loved you know the different food, the beaches, and um the different cultures back home. So I'm um, experiencing all missing it. I try to go back home once or twice a year now since I'm back, uh, since I'm out here in the States, but yeah, born and raised, born and raised on the Island. For sure. I like kid, man. I like yeah. that, bro. I got to get me, I got to take me a trip, bro. I got to take me a trip out there, man. Hawaii, man. Right? I got you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, I got to put that on my calendar, bro. I got to get that <laughs> done for sure. For sure. For sure. So yeah, man, what, um, what made you fall in love with the game of football, bro? Yeah, man. I uh, started playing football when I was like around like 10 years old. Um, baseball was actually my first sport. Um, fun fact, um, played, you know, shortstop, pitcher and right field. And, you know, I love those two sports where I continually played it, you know, year round and every year. And, um, you know, just love the competitiveness around it. So uh, I knew one of those, you know, sports was going to take me to college of, uh, you know, free education. Um, and, you know, I played, uh, you know, you know, I also played free safety, man. I also played your position sure. um, when I was younger. Sure. So um, it's yeah. like the quarterback of the defense. So I, I love like right. that whole aspect of it, playing both sides. And, um, but I kind of fell in love with quarterback, you know, and being a leader, going out there and throwing bombs left and right and scoring touchdowns and, and uh, sure. you know, most importantly, not taking a lot of hits. I mean, that was like, you know, the main reason why. Um, I kind of fell in love with the quarterback position. So um, just playing, just did all of that until college. And yeah. So speaking of college, bro, speaking of college, what college yeah. did you go to? And um, what were your, your, some of your uh, most favorite college moments? Yeah, I went to um, my only crazy thing is my only offer was to um, a junior college in New Mexico. And um, I've always wanted as a kid to go to the University of Hawaii. You know, they told me to walk on and play safety, yeah. actually. They wanted me to walk sure. up and play safety, a whole yeah. different position that I wanted to. Um, mm -hmm. But I took the junior college route, had to shave my head bald, had to, you know, wear uniforms, had to make sure my room was clean, shoes were shined, all the way, the whole nine yards. Um, mm -hmm. So I did that, and, you know, um, you know, I wouldn't be, be the man I am today because of that school of how much, you know, discipline that, you know, that gave me, all the coaches there. They saw something special in me to give me a full ride offer. So, you know, I, you know, did what I needed to do for a year and a half, uh, became the third, you know, quarterback um, of, of that junior college uh, that whole year. Um, so that got, that kind of landed me different offers. So Ole Miss was like kind of my top offer that, that, uh, that was, you know, on the lookout for me and took a visit there, loved it, fell in love with it. And like, just like ran with it. I knew, um, that was a school for me as soon as I saw the field and, and whenever I got there, I wasn't named the starter, um, kind of got jumped into it. Um, one of our, um, start, my starting quarterback got hurt and then I jumped in. This was like eight o'clock, um, against LSU, um, was crazy as my family came for that game and they, they didn't know I was going to play. And I literally jumped in that game and played the rest of that, you know, rest of that second half and, you, you know, killed it. And from there, that point on, I didn't look back. I just. I just took it and ran with it. And I think that was like one of my greatest memories was that first start, my parents being there, um, prime time, 8 p.m. in Oxford, Mississippi. So 
environment was crazy. Another great um, experience in college was um, we're playing Alabama. We had powder blue lays all in the sand. Um, it was me and Tua against each other, Hawaii against Hawaii. And, right, you know, right. first play of the that game. Special. It was so special. I mean, all of Hawaii was watching, and um, it was awesome. Like, it was first play of the game, I just see DK Metcalf wide open on a goal route, toss it to him 75 yards. That was probably one of the loudest times I've heard that stadium once he scored, and everybody was hype. I was hype, and uh, that was, like, one of my greatest moments um, finishing Ole Miss. For sure. That's what's saying. Yeah. Bro. It sounded sound exciting. Hey, it's nothing like it was awesome. SEC football, bro. It's nothing like right. it, uh, one of my loudest <laughs> against Ole Miss. Um, my my freshman year, my freshman year, we we played it. We actually beat Ole Miss. Um, Ole Miss was number four in the nation. That's when they had yeah. um, a cluster. A cluster yep. running back. Dexter, and, um, yeah. A couple, yeah, a couple other guys, man. But it was one of one of um one of the loudest games I played. But it was at South Carolina, though, but we beat Ole Miss. Um, they, y'all, y'all were, like, number four in the nation at the time. Man. Yeah. It was def- like, like I try to tell people, man, it's nothing like SEC football, bro. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? And the fans, just the competitive nature of it, yeah. you know, like, it's different, bro. It's different. Bro. Yeah. You know, it's different nowadays with NIL, everybody going everywhere. So, you know, it's yeah. a different environment. Don't matter now. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But, um... <laughs> So yeah, man. So uh, last year, man, you had a um, a great season, man. Offense this mm-hmm. year of the year. Um, take me through that year, man. How was how was how was last year? And um, how how did you feel? How did how did you feel? You did. Yeah, uh, last year was great. You know, my whole goal was going into that was kind of winning games and um and winning the championship. That was my whole goal. And the whole MVP uh, offensive player of the year was just a bonus added on top of that. And I was so grateful. Um, for that, they didn't even know that I was like I was gonna win it. Um, first time ever hearing it was, you know, at our team meeting towards the end of the season with my, you know, my, my pastor growing up on the screen and my and my family saying congratulations. Right. So that was such a surreal moment. But um, last year, you know, we definitely have unfinished business for sure. Um, just didn't finish the way we wanted to, but um, <clears throat> had a great, you know, had a great year of a lot of, you know, growing and learning and. And I set goals for myself that I reached last year, and I kind of I'm doing the same this year. But I feel like I can reach another elite level to my game, um, which is you know physically and mentally, and just you know film study all of the above. And, and I feel like you know learning from my mistakes last year will better me for this coming up season. And you know last year was fun and all, but that was you know last year, and it's time to make our make a name for ourselves again. And you know a lot of people are doubting again. You, you you cut out for a moment. You hear me? Yeah. Which part did I cut out? Of? Cool. Yeah. Nah, you just said um they they was down us and we got you know basically we got our business. Uh, you cutting out again? All right, for sure. Uh, but yeah. So um as far as so a little bit off the field, bro. What you like doing? What you like doing off the field? A lot of like a lot of us don't um a lot of well, a lot of our friends, man. They don't yeah they don't see the other side of us, man. They just see us inside the helmet. Um, so I like to I like to um give guys the opportunity to really like you know like like that's something we need to talk about. That's something we need to do more because we give right. a lot of our time to this game, bro. Just from you, you've been playing since you was ten. I've been playing yeah. since I was six. You know what I'm saying? We 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 this has been our life and our livelihood, yeah. man. So um, it means a lot to for us as athletes do a lot of things off the field. So. What what are some of the things you yeah. enjoy doing off the field? Yeah, I mean, off the field, you know, I love, you know, just any competitive nature, which is, uh, you know, I love playing sand volleyball. I grew up around it. I love doing that. Um, little games like dart, ping pong, uh, board games. Also love traveling. Um, you know, I love, like, you know, visiting different cultures and different, you know, countries and stuff. And that's more than that I love doing. If someone is like, Hey, you want to do this? I'm like, yes, let's just go do it. Like I'm, I'm such a yes man where I'm sure. willing to, you know, do anything if, if there's adventure around it. And, um, you know, I just, you know, love the competitive nature around, you know, the board games or, um, uh, around like, you know, volleyball, golf, um, all these little, um, activities that, that, um, uh, especially around summertime where you get to be outside. So I love doing that. And in Nashville, Tennessee, I'm like a personal trainer where I like train and teach like workout classes. 
So I just love being around fitness. I love being around health and, and, um, you know, just being around that every day kind of helps you, you know, become the person you want to be later in the future. So, uh, definitely want to be, um, you know, more on the health side and, you know, sports, you know, all that. So, but overall, I love being an adventurous. I love being outdoors, anything with the sun. Like that, bro. I like that. That's, that's great, man. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Gotta, gotta always have some type of competitive edge. It don't matter what it is. Whether it's football or yep. uh, no matter what it is. Gotta, gotta stay competitive. So, man, yep. uh, another question, man. What, who, who inspired you the most growing up? As you was growing up as yeah. a child, up through high school, through, through college, who, who inspired you the most? Yeah. Um, I would have to say my, you know, my dad and my, you know, my high school coach, um, especially my dad, man, just him, um, you know, working two jobs, three jobs, even just to, you know, fly to our games, you know, me and my brother's games while we played in the mainland and, um, him doing that kind of showed us that like, Hey, like you, here, I want you to have a better life than me. I want, he sacrificed, you know, his time and his energy just so we can, um, fulfill the dreams that we have. And I feel like, you know, he kind of raised me to be the man I am today. He kind of showed me what it is to be a leader of a dad of the house and uh, the man of the house. And, and that's exactly what I want to be. I want to, you know, take whatever I learned from him and install that to my kids and, and, and much more. So him doing that, he's just been a role model to me since I was little. And then my head coach, you know, he's been a mentor. He's, um, my, my high school head coach, been a mentor to me, been, uh, you know, at all my games and, and watching every little thing, kind of critiquing me like my own dad. So, um, just him being in my life means a lot, but, um, those two, do, uh, um, are definitely, definitely the ones. For sure. For sure. That's good, bro. That's, that's, that's major, that's... bro. And shout out to your dad and your high school coach, man, because they raised, they yeah. raised, they raised, raised a good man, bro. And, and, and the hell of a player too. Yeah. Um, last couple of things, man. So you got a foundation or, Anything you represent, um, foundation, school, city, or charity that you play for yeah. that you want to um, sh shine and spread light on? Yeah, I just want to, you know, spread some light on, you know, the island of, you know, Hawaii and, and uh, the Maui fires that, you know, that just happened recently and stuff. So, um, you know, shout out to them. You know, everything that I do out here, you know, I I do it for the kids back home, do it for the island. And, and just, to, just to know that, like, hey, like, if Jordan can do it, I can do it type of mentality and, and, you know, just to take care of your, their families and stuff. And, um, you know, everything that I do and everything that I like go for is just to represent the, the island and how we grew up, you know? So, um, definitely <clears throat> shout out to them. They're always supportive. They're always good. To, they're always have an eye out, eye out for me. So, um, whatever, whatever y'all or people can do to, to help them out would be grateful. For sure, for sure. We definitely um there. you gotta um any type of link or any any place where where people can go to where we can uh, <clears throat> send a link or something to get uh any money or a donation yeah. to uh the uh, Yeah, it should be some uh there should be a link in my Instagram bio if you go to my okay. uh, IG and stuff. All right. So it should okay. be on there. Um All so right. take a look. Jordan cool. underscore Tamu ten. Y'all wanna check that out? All right. All right, cool. We'll definitely We'll definitely make sure we shout that out for sure, bro. Yes, so sir. We'll end it, bro. We'll end it with um a couple of questions from you, man. Um, yeah, I've, I've done I've done a lot in this in this game, uh, in the NFL, and um with it being my second year, I want to be able to answer whatever questions you got for me and um help help you and help all of my teammates yeah. in whatever way, bro. So whatever questions you got for me, bro, to let let, let me have yeah, bro. I got some, I'm um, just, I just wanted to ask you, you know, you, I know you've been in the, you know, the league for 11 years now. And, uh, I just wanted to ask like, what was one year that kind of, you know, set you apart or that kind of challenged you to be, you know, the player you are today and the leader that you are? Um, that's a great question, man. Um, the year for me, it was, uh, um, 2016, man. It was 2016. It was my second year in Arizona. Um, I was on a uh, one-year prove it deal, basically a, yeah. a one-year deal. Um, tender they tendered me uh, for a third-round pick or something like that for one point eight, something like that. But um, I had to prove it. I had to prove yeah. that I was uh, worth the play that they 
um, thought I would be. Um, the challenging part of that year was I was the starter for the entire um, off season and in the preseason. And then when it's the starting, um, the starters came out for the regular season. I wasn't a starter. I was sort of a guy that came in on third down. Yeah. And um, when it happened, um, I was sort of down on myself a little bit because, you know, I'm just like, man, I've been started the whole off season. Like, what's going on? I know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I had one, I had two ways to go. I could could have tanked myself and said like, "Hey, man, I, I I man, I should be the start." I you know what I'm saying and be bitter and pout every day, or right. I could have took the route and like, man, Bobby, I'm gonna prepare every day like I'm the starter, and when my opportunity strike, um, I'm gonna make the most of it, and that's what I did, man. Right. I uh, I, I remember telling um a couple of my my family members and my home boys that I was like, man. I'm gonna get the start during the middle of the season, right? Well, around mm-hmm. five, week five or six, when we have our three tele televised games. We had a Thursday night game, a Sunday night game, and a Monday night game, and it happened just like I said it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, this one of our starters we went down week five, and um, I was in by week six. I balled out on Thursday night football, had um yeah. a great game. Balled out the next week on Sunday night football. I had a pick. Balled out on Monday night football. Like on the following week, I had another um, big game. I mean, ended that year. Um, the ninth best safety in the league, and um, ended yeah. up getting a um, multi million dollar deal with Washington that next year, man. And um, I think that was the biggest moment no. for me because, um, yeah, you know, I had a little adversity, but um, you know, I just stayed ready until my opportunity <clears throat> came, and know. Um, that's what it's all about, man. And uh, um, that was that was definitely one of my biggest challenges in the NFL wise. And uh, um, I wasn't the storm and made it happen, bro. Dude, that's so good. A lot of people, you know, and athletes kind of give up, you know, after just like the first, you know, hard thing or first road and first bump in the road, you know, or first mountain they right. see, they kind of turn back and run away. But you know, guys like us that are still playing, that are still chasing the dream, or you know, persistent about being confident in themselves and knowing that, hey, like if I overcome this, there's greater things behind this mountain and you proved that and you showed discipline through it. And yeah, um, there's another question I had. Um, it was another question. I was just basically just saying like, you know, I just want to talk about going into this season. I know you came into like our season, the middle of the last year's season, seeing you on the style and getting that pick six to the house. I mean, that got me really excited, especially our fan base. And um, sure. I just want to I just want to know your mindset going into this year, and and how do you think you know last year helped you to prepare for this year? Yeah, man, last year was a um, it was a good year, man. Um, my son actually, um, I was actually in the middle of boxing. I boxed. I've been boxing for yeah. ten years. I was in the middle of a boxing training camp, getting ready for my first pro debut. Um, and um, my, I'm at the track meet with my son, and my son was just like, man, daddy, I want to see you play football. I was just like, yeah. huh? Like, where did it come from? Oh, she was like, like you supposed to be getting ready for for the one hundred. What are you talking about right. football? You know what I'm saying? But it was crazy, man. He said that, and you know, oh, Vaughn called me that same night for like wow. the third time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, yeah. Oh well, that's that's the calling. Then I need to go back to play football. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then that's how it happened, man. When I got here, I was I was I was light. I was in boxing shape. I I wasn't out of shape, but I was just not a football um, mm-hmm. shape, I have you, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I wasn't winning or nothing, but I just wasn't doing the certain movements, these different movements, boxing, right. football. So I kind of had to get back in the groove, and I was playing nickel, um, basically yeah. playing corner. I haven't played corner uh, really since college, and um, a little bit in Arizona. So it was kind of like me having to get my feet wet and start over again. Yeah. But um, I ended up having a decent year, bro. Um, it was it was cool, man. Being back on the field, you know, I love the game, man. It was great. Uh, we we um we did some great things last year, man, but we came up short. And um, yeah. moving into this year, bro, I'm back at home. I'm grateful to be back at free safety, man. That's where um that's where I'm most at home. But I love playing safety and being the quarterback on the defense. And um yeah. Yeah, man, this year, man, I'm just looking forward to finishing the job, man, because uh, we got a lot of talent on both sides of the ball, man. And uh, we can, we can, we we know we can win. Yeah. Uh, we we yeah. got there last year. We had the best record last year. And um, 
we got a great team again this year, man. So the goal this year, man, is to ball out, help my teammates in any way that I can, both on and off the field. And, man, you yeah. got to go get that trophy, man, for sure. Got to. And I'm excited that you're back at free safety, man. Just watching you in practice, yeah. fly around, um, making plays happen, man. So I'm excited to see you play against another team other than myself, you know. So, for sure. Um, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, so happy and so glad we um, got to have this conversation. So last question, though, people want to know, what do you want to, what do you do for fun? What does DJ uh, do for fun? Man, what I do for fun, man, for fun, man, I love, I love kids, bro. Um, yeah. My son is six, daughter five, bro. Uh, um, man, my son at that age now to where, like, it's all football. It's mad. Yeah. It's um, let's go work out, man. We we used to work out. He 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 does his six a.m. workouts with me, like wow. it's, it's 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 crazy, man. So <laughs> man, I would say, man, I love being a dad, man. Um, yeah, I like and, that. Um, that's one of one of the things that I love being a dad. Um, other than being a dad, man, I like to uh, uh I'm a I'm a car player, bro. I like spades. I like mm. car, I like boo race. So. Um, anytime anybody want to do something for cars, go. <laughs> I sit, I sit around the house all day. I ain't really got to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But right, right. Like going out, going to places. Um, I love traveling. I got, like, I've been all over the world, man. Um, I got I know about that. 20, 20, 20 stamps, bro. Um, just being all across the world. I love traveling. And, um, uh, I'm a family man, bro. I love, uh, love my children, love my, um, my whole family, bro. So, yeah, I say being a dad, playing cars, and doing any type of competitive thing. You know, we competitive, yeah. bro. So, yeah, um, any any type of competitive, bro. I hoop a lot, bro. I hoop. Um, so okay, um, that's what I do in the obviously yeah. you know, mainly I hoop and I box, bro. So, um, I've always played in different sports. So, yeah, um, in the off season, bro, I, I usually hoop and I box, bro. And um, uh, those 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 the hobbies. That's what I like doing, bro. Dude, I love that. I love that. Well, sure. damn, I appreciate you, Rand, having me on here. Uh, For sure, bro. You got a, sure. hey, we got a, hey, you know, one and no mindset this week, baby. One and no. You already know, man. We gonna go one and no this week, man. We go in the interview on two sports, man. Yeah, appreciate you, baby. We appreciate you, bro. Two spools on Sunday, man. Everybody eat with two spools on Sunday. <laughs> so, all you go. I love and that. My dog, bro. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate and, you. Uh, have a good night, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Yes, sir, bro. Tomorrow. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you know. Yes, sir, Basky. Two spoons, two. Check it out.